Hi guys, this is my video on how to install the Banksy Jelly Bean ROM based on the Android 4.1.2 on your Galaxy Note GT and 7000. So to install this ROM, download the link 1, link 2, link 3 and link 4 from the description and transfer all the files in your external SD and once you have done that, hold the up volume, power and the home button at the same time. Keep holding it until you see the Samsung Galaxy Note displayed on the screen. Alright, let go the buttons once you see this. So now, once you are on the recovery mode, choose install zip from SD. Choose zip from SD and just navigate to wherever you have saved the link 1. That's the Hydra Core kernel. Select it and hit yes install. So now that's done, just go back and go to advanced and hit reboot recovery. Alright, so once that's done, uh, do a wipe data factory reset. Just delete all user data. Now do a wipe cache partition. And uh, go to advanced. Uh, hit wipe Dalvik cache. And just do a wipe Dalvik. Alright, now go back. Uh, choose install zip from SD. Choose zip from SD. And just navigate to wherever you have saved the ROM. Uh, the link 2 that's the jelly bean 4.1.2 select it and hit yes install and wait for the installation to complete all right guys the phone automatically rebooted so guys the first boot may take up to five minutes so don't worry about it just Alright guys, we are up here, just keeping the basic settings. Alright, so just showing you what I'm running now. So this is the Android 4.1.2. That's the Jelly Bean. And this is the latest firmware XXLS7. So right after the installation of this ROM, again reboot into recovery by holding the up volume, power and the home button. Let go the buttons once you see this. And this time guys, choose install zip from SD. And navigate to wherever you have saved the link 3. That's the XXLS7 fixed boot animation dot zip. So it's a kernel uh, for this ROM. So just select it and hit yes install. Link 3 will give you this file. So just flash it. And now go back and hit reboot system now. Alright, guys, we are up here. Again, go to the Play Store, uh, get the root explorer, uh, get the paid version, guys. If you cannot buy it, Google APKs for it. And download the link for extract it and transfer the extracted file to the external SD and open root explorer go to SD uh, storage go to external SD go to wherever you have saved the extracted file of the link 4 so the permissions folder I mean you'll get the permission folder once you extract the AView underscore permissions dot zip so open it up Select this XML file, copy, now go back, 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 and now go to etc, go to go to permissions and hit paste. 
All right, so you'll get this uh, com dot sec dot feature dot hovering uh, dot underscore UI dot XML. So just select it, uh, hit uh, permissions, and make sure you make it look like this, and hit OK. And now go back, 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 back. Now just reboot the phone. So guys, just to check that uh, whether the air view is working or not, uh, just showing you. All right, there you see it. You, you can see it. We have this uh, air view working, and uh, even the multi window works as well. You have this multi window option with this ROM. Just enable it, and now just tap and hold the back button, and you will get this menu. All right. Okay. Say open internet. All right, and you say you open YouTube. All right, so now what you need to do is click and drag, tap and hold, and click and drag it over here. So now, and internet over here. So now you can browse the net over here, and you can uh, see Google. I mean, you can browse the net in the first window, and you can check YouTube at the second window at the same time. So the multi window and the uh, view works perfect. So that's all about my installation guys, thanks a lot for watching, stay subscribed for more, bye bye now and have a good day.